hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening depending upon where or you're watching this video from this video is nothing but a collection of pictures of my track day at Sepang. Now, what is Sepang? Sepang is the place where the F1 races in Malaysia happen. Sepang is a place where MotoGP races happen. So we got an international track in Sepang, and that's where the F1 as well as the MotoGP races happen. Ever since I have been in Malaysia, it was my dream to go there and ride a vehicle now i could not really afford a racing car or motor, but i could afford a motorcycle i have been to sepang i have been to the f1 races i have been to the moto gp races but it was my dream that i wanted to ride my vehicle in the sepang track now can you just go out and ride it yeah you can just go out and ride but what are the casualties now before going to sepang i had to prep myself i had to go to the school of Nidown. A set of organizers who tend to train amateur motorcyclists on how to do the track and uh, how to do the cornering and, and things like that. So I did go to the school of knee down and I was able to get my knee down with their help. Now after that, it is the same set of people, which is the school of knee down, organize the track days. Now there are multiple players in the market who tend to organize the Sepang track days. There are multiple of them. I was confident to go to the track day, which was organized by the same set of people, which is known as the School of Knee Down, for the track day. So I have a known set of people, I have a known set of community. The people tend to know what my strengths and my weaknesses were. They will put me in the right group where I should be, and that was the thing. Now, how did the whole thing went down? The whole thing went down with. Um, no casualties let me tell that no casualties whatsoever during the the track day but i did have a little setback my lean angle on my ducati hypermotard was a little too much my foot peg scrapes that's quite normal when you're doing the track day there are quite a lot of ducati hypermotard owners will probably say that well the, the foot peg on the ducati hypermotard is way too high how can you even scrape it now we're considering when you're doing the track day and when your lean angle is too much, it's quite often that you will get tend to scrape your foot peg and you'll tend to scrape your gear lever. I was not expecting to scrape my gear lever, but guess what? I ended up scraping my gear lever. I ended up breaking it. Not only really that, on my way back, the oil coolant guard fell off. The engine header guard fell off. So... It was a mixed bag, but I was happy that I didn't have any casualties. These are minor setbacks, which I could e easily replace. That's, that was not a problem at all. It took me about six to eight weeks for Ducati to get a, a gear lever ordered from Italy to ship it all the way to Malaysia and get it fitted onto my motorcycle. And it took a lot of follow-ups to get that gear lever replaced. But I'm glad that there was no casualties whatsoever. I was able to successfully complete my track day and I'm looking forward for my next track day, this time on my Husqvarna 701 Supermoto on the October 20th. So more videos to come on the track day which is upcoming on the 20th of October. Last time when I did the video of the track, there were so many people who looked at the videos and said that, oh, I really wanted to see front vision. The camera was more focused on me, but um, there was quite a lot of people who saw the video said that I want to see the front of the track. I want to see how the track looked like. So this time I'm going to go with two cameras and... Um, this time, I'm hoping to get the video of myself and I'm going to get the video of the track too. But I do have two GoPros and I'm planning to mount one facing me and one facing the track and hopefully no casualty this time. Fingers crossed.